Uh, I came in about seven years ago as the assistant principal for two years, and then I was named principal five years ago, and so this is my fifth year as principal. And in between all of that, I've had two lovely children, <laughs> Ella. She, she, she just graduated the sixth grade and getting ready to go into the middle school, and then Piper just graduated kindergarten. So we've had two milestone years here. And uh, it's been pretty surreal as, as a mom to have been here and then to be their principal and then have two children in milestone graduating years in a COVID time. Typically, um, you know, school kids can kind of hang around with their parents inside the building. And because of the COVID shutdown, we, we're not allowed to have our children in the building at the moment. So we've had our kids at home. Um, so we get a nice taste of what a normal business working family has. They're not with us in the building, they're at home. So we've had to make provisions for them to homeschool at the house. Um, <clears throat> we do have our struggles because I do live here in Hickory Grove. So we have our internet struggles. So if they have a Zoom meeting, we have to go outside on the back porch <laughs> for, for a good signal for Zoom meetings. And we just read lots of books, uh, do some writing, and try to do some of our software programs on the computer when we, when we do have that strong, strong signal out here. Um, so I just check on them when I get home and go through their work. And then we just try to have a normal evening and then here, um, it's, it's been bittersweet, you know, because our teachers and office staff and myself, you know, we thrive on our children being in our building every single day. I mean, that, that makes your day. When those smiling faces come in every day, they, they brighten your world. And when they're not here anymore, it, it is a, it, it's an emotional roller coaster. Um, it's an adjustment. So just often that support to your teachers and trying to encourage them and help them and helping them shift into a technology world that they're not accustomed to every day. Um, and just trying to find ways to stay connected to your children, stay connected as a staff, uh, having that bond that you are accustomed to every day. We've had to been pretty creative with those with those things. We are all in this together. <laughs> that is for sure. We are all in this together. And sometimes when you feel that your kids are getting overwhelmed, then that's time to take a break. It's time to take a break and go do some things with our family because here's some things that's going to come out of this. It's it's the, it's the ties being with family more. It's sitting around the dinner table more. It's those more conversations that you're having with kids. There's more to, um, more to that learning packet and to that Zoom meeting. And we just want to make sure that our families are supported in that aspect. I think a lot of things that we've taken away from this, um, yes, we had some academics through paper, pencil. We had some academics through our technology world, but what are the other things that you took away that you can't replace? Mm -hmm. And that, that is those conversations around your dinner table. That is those conversations when you're able to have more time at home with each other and teaching those life skills that maybe you just didn't get to in a normal world. Mm -hmm. Every principal in our state has had these same emotions, you know, of missing their children and, um, trying to hold them own selves together and their teachers together and uh it's been a it's been a challenging challenge experience but there's been blessings behind it and so we're hoping to kind of hold on to those blessings because those are the things that you can't you can't replace